Oh, wait, you waiting on me, Allison? <laughs> me to hop on on up here? I'm DJ, DJ Jameson, and I've been with Mobile Hope for about six years. Graduated from Loudoun County High School, 2015. Basically, we do this every week. So we hand out food, non-perishables and perishables to families who, like, who need them. And um, we go to different like bus stops like every week. It makes me feel like I have a purpose, like I'm giving back, like I am helping somebody who needs it. When I joined Mobile Hope, I was about 14 or 15, and I was in a rough spot. Um, I grew up without my mom and my dad. So that means I didn't have my parents growing up. And so my grandmother, you know, brought me in and raised me, me and my, you know, other siblings that I have. Um, and so I was like, I, I grew up confused. So growing up, I was always getting into, into trouble. I was always like getting suspended from school or getting into fights. And, you know, I was just mad at the world. Going, in, going into, into high school was really, really I started like partying and like, you know, doing drugs and stuff and like, you know, drinking and just not, just going down the wrong path. I was homeless for a little while. It's pretty, it's, it's tough. It's tough knowing that you don't have anywhere to go. And then they automatically assume you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing if you're homeless. Like, why are you homeless? Just get a job and work. And it's not, it's not that easy. It's not, that, especially if you're 25, it's, 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 it's hard. People just driving by, people walk by, just, you know, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But, um, like, it's, it's, it's depressing. I have got, got in trouble before where I've been incarcerated. So when I got out when I was like 18, um, I started working like extensively with Mobile Home, like at that point to get my life back on track. When he first came to us, he was um, not a happy, cheerful young man. Um, I think he had a lot of self self doubt um, and he had a lot of struggles that he was dealing with and being with us for however many years he's now been with us, he has really grown to be a mentor now to some of our kids. Mm -hmm. And it was created because there were no true programs that were dedicated specifically to our homeless youth, especially 18 to 24. And so we do everything in our power to help empower them and help to have them lead a life of self-sufficiency. So we have mentors that are not only life coaches that are there for them when that life kind of gets hard, um, but they're also there as expert, con you know, content experts within the trade that they are pursuing. I'm to go to school soon. So I'm gonna put this on low and cover it to simmer. It's 11.50, it's supposed to be done at 12.15. Uh, so I'm gonna have you actually bring that plate of chicken over here. This. Let's cut up this chicken into bite-sized pieces. Most kids have not been asked what they want to do in life, what their goals are in life. They've primarily been regimented to, you can do this job, you can do this job. Is that the same people have the oil that they prepare? Um, so the uniqueness of trading up with Mobile Hope is our ability to put them in front of many different trades to see where their passion exists, and then they get to shadow those people. DJ graduated. Um, he has, I think, six or seven certifications in cybersecurity. Great to see you again. Yeah, I'm excited about um, all of the opportunities that are out here for you. Well, I started uh, working with DJ during the time that um, Mobile Hope uh, was opening up um, their vocational program. And that's how I actually met uh, DJ. We met there and um, he expressed an interest 
and um, going into a cybersecurity program that we had. He was very interested in technology. Cybersecurity wise, I would explain it as basically being able to outsmart your opponents, basically. It's like a game to me. So I like putting pieces to the puzzle together, analyzing, figuring out like what the problem is and then solving it. I, I like it, it's, it's like cat and mouse, you know what I mean? So it's like the thrill, thrill of the chase or like kind of just like figuring out like what you can do better, you know, for or what that company can do better to protect themselves as well. Yes, we want you to do the so. LinkedIn so you can just send your resumes out or connect with those people who have some of the same interests. Exactly. So that's that's wonderful, and um, we're just happy to work with you on that. And also the resume, what we would like for you to do at this particular time now is add this cyber mm -hmm. security analyst position. You can't become the man you want to be if you're still tied to the man you used to be. And it's the worst type of battle when it's within yourself and nobody can see. You know what I mean? And sometimes you definitely feel like you will not win. But there are also people and resources out there that can help you get through it. Keep a support system if you can. Like I want you like surround yourself with people who want the best for you. And there's really nothing you can't handle. Whoa! Hold on. Everybody, you know, has a purpose in life, and I hope that we, yeah, everybody finds it. Thank you.